everyone so I thought I would come here and show you my quick fast dress free kitchen cleanup um, my kitchen is pretty clean being that I had cleaned it a couple of days ago but I thought that I'll come in here and show you some tips and tricks and methods that I've been using for many years and cleaning my whole house and not feeling stressed about it so here I'm basically cleaning my drawers because my darling husband decided to make a mess out of it I do have to get a system for this drawer I did have one before but being that this is a brand new house I gotta find something that's gonna work for me in this drawer so one of the things that I do to help me out so that cleaning won't become so stressful is I like to write down what exactly I am going to clean in the kitchen, in the living room, or wherever it is that I'm going to clean. So I'll jot down everything that I'm going to do. And the reason why I like to do that is because I feel like if I'm cleaning and after cleaning I sit down and remember that I forgot to empty out the dishwasher or, you know, I forgot to clean, you know, a certain spot in the kitchen, then I have to get up again and start cleaning it and that's pretty annoying, basically, especially when you're sitting down and you're comfortable. So by me making this list, it reminds me of everything that I have to do and I won't have to be getting up and doing anything else. So here you see me looking through the cans and the boxes and basically what I'm doing is inventory, which is another method that I do. And once a week, I'll go through my cabinets and I'll see what I need to buy. It's something that I do so that when it's time to go food shopping, I don't feel you know, the need or the stress to try to figure out what it is that the house needs. It's something that I do constantly and it works for me especially when you have to go to the supermarket all of a sudden and then have to sit down and make a list. I won't need to because I already have an inventory of everything that I do need. So here I'm going to empty out the dishwasher. Thank God for dishwashers. <laughs> Drying up any kind of excess water that is left over. So if you guys are interested in knowing a little bit more about my method and how I basically clean stress-free, just thumbs up this video and I'll be more than happy to do a video on my list and how I do my list. So if you're wondering what I have in this bottle, it's basically just water, vinegar, and some essential oils. You can use anything like peppermint, cinnamon, lavender, I'm trying to start using more of natural ways of cleaning the house. So you will be seeing some products that I'm using that are not so natural um, in other videos, but I am trying to get there and I'm learning more about natural products.
So because I already cleaned my kitchen a couple of days ago, I am not basically following the list. There's some steps that I did miss, um, being that it's already cleaned. But again, it's just to come in here and show you guys that there is ways to do things and you don't have to feel stressed about it. It's a method that have worked for me for many years. And um, again, I would like to show you guys all you need to do is thumbs this video up and I'll be happy to um, make a video of that and show you exactly what I do. So I'm still basically unpacking and putting things away. I haven't finished um, unpacking a lot of the things in the house. Um, so you'll see me putting away a lot of things that don't belong in the kitchen only because I'm trying to make a house for them. I don't know if you notice, guys, you see that pumpkin on top of the microwave? My daughter brought that pumpkin, I think the beginning of October. Can you believe that that pumpkin is still intact? There's no like signs of it being rotten. It's so weird. Has that ever happened to you guys? Comment below.
So after sweeping, I just get my jet and I start mopping. Um, and it's not really hard compared to the tiles I used to have in my other home. They're very hard to keep clean, but I'm so happy for these. <laughs> So just switching up my rag that I was using for cleaning, being that that rag that I was using uh, was pretty old. So I got a fresh new one for the dishes and left the one that I was using to clean up anything else for the future. And one last thing that I love doing before finishing up and having the place clean is turning on my candles. There's nothing like having a fresh, clean home, smelling good, a sign of the end to cleaning. <laughs> and I also go the extra mile in spring, just something that I like to do. And that's it guys, that's all I do.